Hello my internet friends and family, welcome back to an unboxing of Doomlands Blasters. In the last episode you saw of course we unboxed the long arm and the holdout, two of the smaller pistols, but now we're getting into some of my favorites, I think, Springer Blasters of all time to ever be released. So we're gonna open these up and you're definitely gonna see a lot of action with these because these next three blasters are super reliable, especially for a Nerf Wars or for filming a video. So I'm excited to open these up. If you guys enjoyed this video or the last video you saw, of course, leave a like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it, but without any further ado, let's open up this next box. Here we go, I got the box opened up and we're gonna take a look inside and I already see the clear plastic and I see all the blasters that we have purchased. So here of course we have the packaging bubble to make sure that nothing breaks in here, but oh yes indeed, our receipt of course, yep, and then plastic of course that we can just throw to the side for now. All the plastic bubbling crap. Yeah, it's gonna be aggravating, but oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, here we go. So this is the Nerf Doomlands Negotiator, which is a super cool eight shot pistol in the Doomland series, and it's hammer action, so you could theoretically dual wield it. Then we have the Nerf, oh, Doomlands Lawbringer, which is another hammer action, kind of a rifle-ish blaster. I'd say this would be the rifle in the Doomland series. And then the shotgun style, not really a shotgun, but kind of a shotgun nerf Doomlands Vagabond. I love the three of these blasters, so this is gonna be super fun to open up and create. So let's get to opening these blasters. I'm of course gonna start with the smallest one first, and that is the Negotiator. So the beautiful thing about the Negotiator is that it is all opened in the front, so it is super easy to just load in blasters. Blasters. It is super easy to just load in darts and then prime back and shoot. So this is gonna be really practical. And you saw me complain about this in the last review. I hate when the darts are stored like this, and by the looks of things, Ooh, they're not like that in the Lawbringer, but they are like that in the Vagabond. So, we're gonna have to deal with this only one more time, but two of the blasters didn't have the darts stored the way I hated it. So, I see that as a win. The Negotiator is definitely the biggest pistol of them all. And, of course, it's awesome. I don't wanna lose any of my darts, so I'm being very careful as to where they go. But that, that is super smooth. And that hits very well. I think this is a very war effective blaster and it should be good to use in gun games because that's the main reason I bought these. I'm running out of guns to use in gun games. But that is the Nerf Doomlands Negotiator. I think this is a certified W. So we're gonna open up the Lawbringer next. Yeah, okay. So let me find the little snippies that need to snip. <laughs> I can get them. There we go. That is the Nerf. Oh man, this is cool. Has two tactical rails up top, so of course take your scope off your holdout possibly. You can put it on top of your Lawbringer and make it look even better, I think. I think this looks really snazzy. Put a scope on top of it. I think that looks okay. Lawbringer, super reliable blaster to use holds 12 shots that's a lot of ammo here we go load all the darts into here just like that prime that down Make sure it runs I think that fires very smoothly and I think these darts travel very accurately. I think this one has the accuracy, but maybe not the power. I was just, I couldn't really tell by the way it was maneuvering, but I think that these guns 
I think this is very, very war effective, especially because of how many shots it holds, and it's super easy to just prime it back right there. I think it'd be cooler if it was more like the negotiator. You just chop off this piece, and then it was just like a long hammer shot pistol, but I guess the idea of it like being a rifle, maybe, I guess that's what they were going for. I think it's still pretty cool. So that is the, that's the lawbreaker. Let's get into the Vagabond. Vagabond holds six shots, and it's a beautiful shotgun style blaster. Take the cylinder and insert your dart. Beautiful six shots. Prime it at the bottom. All right. Now that is a good feeling blaster. Yes, this makes me happy. <laughs> I love the feeling of shotgun blasters, and if I, if my memory served me correctly, this one is super easy to spin. Yeah, it is. That's a good shotgun right there. I, I treat this as a shotgun. I know it doesn't shoot two at a time, but to me, this, this is a shotgun. <laughs> so, we have almost every class in this, in this sub-series. We have, of course, your shotgun. The Lawbringer would be your rifle, I guess. Your quaint little backup in your boot pistol. I'd say this is probably your main pistol, and then this would be like a, I don't know, I guess a secret agent pistol. It's kind of like a suppressed pistol, I guess. But these are a definitely interesting group of blasters. I definitely have to say I think my favorite two are the Negotiator and the Vagabond. I think these are the two I'm going to end up coming back to the most just because this has eight shots and it's crazy and you can just easily prime it back with the hammer action right here. And theoretically you could dual wield the Lawbringer and the Negotiator because just prime it back from the back and then fire with one hand because you only need one hand to prime it. But I think definitely my favorite is probably the Negotiator. I'll, I like the feel of this. And then second would be the Vagabond. These two are definitely my favorites, but I don't know, something about this shotgun style feel gets to me. And I'm noticing something, the holdout doesn't have its name on it, so I'm just gonna have to keep my memory to the test if I wanna remember which gun I'm playing with. But yes, for this quaint little capacity, this definitely packs a punch. I love the feel of this shotgun. It, you could shoot 20 feet, it still looks awesome to me. Lawbringer, it's just, stuff feel like it's in the way, the stock feels too short, and so, I don't know, I wouldn't use it like as a rifle, I just run around and with one hand in it. Long arm, there's other pistols, but it definitely looks cool and it's good to have just lying around as a backup shot, but the Negotiator is probably the most war effective, I think, out of all of these because of its large capacity, its small little size, it's easy to prime, and the <laughs> dark bounced off my pillow. Oh no, I lost it. So yeah, that is my review of the Doomlands blasters. I know these are old blasters, but I never got around to reviewing them, so I'm doing it now. So if you did enjoy this video, hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment which one of these is your favorite blasters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, my internet friends and family.